Hello, hello friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back to the final battle. We are going to go ahead and take on these uh, these two decks against each other. We have our uh, Ultra Necrozma deck on one side, and our Not Greninja deck on the other side. Um, and I think I actually need to adjust something here already. Um, sorry if the if the camera moves. I'm just gonna I'm trying to get closer, so. I need to uh, adjust this this closest leg to me so that I can skewed up closer. And I don't think that adjusted anything too much. I just gotta watch out where I turn. So, like I said, we have our alternate cross on Malamar Toxicroat deck versus our uh, Greninja mascot uh, deck here. I guess I'll put him here. Eh, it won't work. So Greninja gets to hold the GX counter, then so that it stays in the uh, stays in the shot. Let's see. I guess the Shadow Patch kids should not be blocking him, but they are. So I guess I should have figured out the lighting a little bit earlier. But I think this will work here. Um, in fact, I can actually probably turn them. I have like four different lights I'm like trying to work with. But we have our alternate cosmic Malamar Toxic Cook versus our Malamar Mess Spirit Uxi deck um, that was able to come out of the Greninja box. Um, I will say that it definitely looks like it was one-sided. That the um, that the uh, I will say that the um, wow lost my words there for a second. I will say that the uh, it looks like. Let me just move this over a little bit like that. There we go. Um, it looks like the the ma the the Ultra Necrozma uh, box definitely had a little bit more in it. You know, they're both Malamar promos, but the uh, the one box had a little bit more better stuff in it. Also had a Deanthe Deanthe full art that uh, I'm not playing because I'm not faring, playing any fairies, uh, but. I don't know. We'll see. This one does have a thicker count of Malamar, though, so that's the plus side. I will leave the uh, the deck list in the description for these as well. I um, mean, maybe they can combine into one to make this like ultra powerful single Ultra Necrozma deck. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think that neither one of them got a far deal though, so we still couldn't use Greninja. Uh, but. I don't know, maybe we'll combine them at the end. So I think I'm going to have my, my deck here. I usually put them like af away from me, but I think I'm going to put the prizes away from me this time because it, uh, I don't I, I access them less. And that way the discard pile can go right behind my face camera. So that's the idea behind it at least. There we go. Trying to shuffle these. So I've been trying to get better at that kind of shuffling. Um, damage wise, I, I usually don't do it where I damage them. I'll let them kind of fall into place. More so than like fold them into place. So it takes a little longer to f shuffle that way. But I feel like it does give a better shuffle until I do that and throw a card. <clears throat> it makes the deck not shuffled then. <sighs> because I know what that is. Uh, what I just did is stacking. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now I have no clue where that timer ball is now. So we should be able to go ahead and get started. Um, let me roll the die and see who goes first. Because I don't like picking. I'm just going to say, you know, odds is the Shining Legends match. Evens is the Alola mat. It is odds. So we're going to let Ultra Necrozma go first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven. So let's see what the alternate Krasma is going to start things off with. So we have Ultra Necrozma to start it off with. I don't know. There we go. There's a spot. So we automatically, we're already starting off with the big bad boy. Which is a pretty good start, I'll say. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four prizes over there. Looks like you can't see them right there, so I'll do them this way. One, two, three, and four. Just a line up there in the corner. Let's see what the Greninja deck starts off with. I know I say Greninja lightly. We're going to start things off with a Snover, actually. One, two, three, four. Um, actually, I bet this will give Greninja a better background. Two, three, four. Alright, so we're only going to have one game with these guys because it is a pre release, so that's all you're going to get against somebody. Uh, but we're going to still see what they do. So for Draw for Turn, it is a mysterious treasure already. So we're going to mysterious treasure and look for a psychic type. We're going to get rid of Ultra Space. We got our Ultra Beast out. We don't need any more. We're going to search for a psychic type. Inke it is. Um, is there any other search we have? No, we're probably going to howl. Although, actually... No, we might Sophocles here. I think we might Sophocles due to the fact that it's going to be... Uh, good to get the Psychic Energies into the discard pile. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, that's going to happen a lot when you have a camera right in front of you. Is that bumping of said camera. Just making sure I have it all shuffled up. So I don't know what's anywhere. This makes it a little easy. I can bring the deck closer though. So we grab Inke. Plop that down onto the bench. Um, and then go ahead and Sophocles discarding a Psychic Energy and a Psychic Energy. To draw four more cards. We get a Fur Frow. That's notable. Throw a Metal Energy down on to Ultra Necrozma. And uh, we also got a Nest Ball here that I think we're going to go ahead and grab as well. And let us grab our... I think we should just grab a second Inke actually. Although we have a lot of toxic crooks, so let's grab a Krogunk. Yeah, I think that's the best option. This seems like it'll work pretty well. And already the alternate Cosmos side is pretty set up. I think this deck would have done well. Because look at how many options I had there to find the alternate Cosmos. Had I not had that, I had Mysterious Treasure and Nest Ball um, immediately um, to find my big attacker and I still would have got that metal energy attached to it. So how energy energy pretty good. Um, not much to do. Let's see what the Greninja is going to start off with. We draw for turn. It is a Furfrow. I guess we'll throw that down there. Um, not much we can do here. We can throw a... That Snover is done though. Because all I need is a Psychic Energy, right? So throw a Grass Energy on Furfrow. 80 for each Psychic Energy discarded. So that's 80 is what Snover has. Let's go ahead and look her. Pull 3 from the bottom of our deck. 1, 2, 3. And there's Mysterious Treasure and Inke. Nice. So Inke we can throw down. That's useful. Um, can Mysterious Treasure get rid of a Psychic Energy? And search for a Psychic Type. Which means you could get Mass Spirit or Uxi, or you can get another Inke down. Maybe Uxi. Let's grab Uxi. 
I'll go ahead and shuffle. I guess I can pull that closer, which helps my back out. I hope you guys can see. There we go. That's what I was trying to do, is brighten it up just a little bit there. If you guys have any question of what's on the bench, I can probably explain it. So on this side of the bench we have Uxie, Inke, and Furfrau. On the other side we have Inky, Furfrau, and Kroagunk. Ultra Necrozma is the gold card that is in the active on the red side of things. And on the blue side of things it is a Snover. And we attached for turn. Snover is kind of out of luck. And we're going to end our turn there. Now Ultra Necrozma gets to go attach a Psychic Energy of course. We're gonna how? How you doing that? Um, draw three more cards. We got a how, a Krogunk, and a Psychic Energy. We're gonna go ahead and throw down the Krogunk, and we will uh, Photon Geyser. Twenty plus discard all basic Psychic Energy from this Pokemon attack. That's eighty more damage for each card you discard that way. So boom. Eighty discard prize card. Now, what are we going to promote over here? We only have four cards in hand, so we're probably going to promote our Furfra. Draw for turn. It's a Halucha. We get that Malamar. Throw down that Halucha. Go ahead and uh, Psychic uh, Recharge. We're actually going to throw the energy onto Uxie here. And then we are going to go ahead and... Ooh, we could Sophocles. I think that's the best option actually is to Sophocles these two cards. So Sophocles, draw four cards. We get Mess Spirit, so we'll throw Mess Spirit down. We'll attach an energy to that Mess Spirit. We're in a Great Ball. Look at the top seven cards of our deck and grab a Pokemon we find there. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So we do get an Inkay, we're going to throw that Inkay down. So we have two Malamar possibilities on the field, and Mespier can go ahead and attack next turn. I think I feel like I might memory skip, though, on this uh, Ultra Necrozma, so that I have, like, a turn to do some damage. Um, Halucha is only going to do 40 to it with its attack. We're going to get some chip 20 damage on it right now with Furfrau, so... That's a plus. Uh, one card left. We already did our supporter. So we're just going to Furfrow. Do some 20 damage here. That's 40. That's 10. That's 20. And then uh, draw cards until you have 5 in your hand. So we have 1 in our hand. So we'll draw 4 more cards. 3, 4. And that is the end of our turn. It is back to Ultra Necrozma's turn. Attach an energy to Ultra Necrozma. I'm like trying to think the easiest way to do it. And a How. One, two, three. A Malamar is finally here. Mysterious Treasure is here. Um, <clears throat> what are we Mysterious Treasure for? Guess we Mysterious Treasure a Psychic Energy and grab our second Inke. There he is, right on top of the deck. Go ahead and shuffle. We will Psychic Recharge onto a Krogunk. Is what it seems like it's going to happen here. Oh, I dropped something. I gotta reshuffle. I dropped the Toxic Croak. So that makes it a little more difficult, like I said. But I usually shuffle on camera, so at least shuffling it here, it's still on camera. Let you guys know I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, we have energy, energy, energy. We're going to psychic recharge. We're already attached for turn. So we're just psychic recharge and put it onto a Krogak. Uh, there we go. Oh, let me attack first. 80 damage on the Furfrow. 
Mm-hmm. There we go. There's a two. There's a six. So, 80 damage. Oh, wait, no, it's 100 damage, isn't it? It's 100. It's a knockout. This is, like, easy mode for him. Easy mode. It's 100 damage. 20 plus. 20 plus 80 damage. Which makes this a little more fun. Um, I think we're going to attack with Mez Spirit. See, I don't like that. Uh, I know I got attacked before. So memory skip's nice, because I can get rid of Photon gazer, Geyser. So let me see what else Necrozma does here. Ah, can't do that. I got to sack Mez Spirit first, and then Uxie can come and clean up. Um, so we draw for turn. Psychic energy will attach it to Uxie. Uh, we go attach the Malamar to the Inke. And uh, Psychic Recharge. See how many energies we have. One. Yeah, so we have one energy we can Psychic Recharge. And we will put it onto. Malamar. Go ahead and Kikui. Draw two more cards. Get another Uxie. Should have did that first, but I think I can do an Uxie lock after this. That's my plan here. So, we're going to Mind Splash. U Uxie is on our bench, so we do 50 more damage plus the 20. So we do 90 damage to this. Uh, I'll just use these since they're out already. Um, 90 damage, so 60, plus 3, there we go, there we go, Mess Spirit gets some damage on the board, and it's back to Necrozma's turn, another Psychic Energy, um, could judge, but that doesn't really do us much good, we have a lot of energy in our hands, and our opponent has 4 cards already, so who knows, uh, so attach an energy there. We are going to Psychic Recharge onto the Crow Gunk. <laughs> uh, maybe I should. Yeah, I guess we're gonna. We're gonna judge because I don't want to have four energy in my hand. It's really the only reason. Like, it's four energy, or and your opponent already has four. It's not really gonna disrupt anybody. But it's going to get like the four energies in your hand out of your hand, and maybe you get four different cards that'll work better. Alright. One, two, three, and four. Set those aside, and then shuffle up this deck. And make sure it gets only four back as well. There you go. That should be uh, that should be shuffled pretty regular, pretty well, I should say. One, two, three, and four. Can hardly see those. Uh, so psychic energy, psychic, psychic energy, toxic crook, and a lily for next turn. That's nice. Uh, we have a Malamar already. Okay, photon geyser for the knockout. And that's the reprises. So Kikui for what? Next turn. Now, uh, this side's gonna be gonna going into with our hand, we're gonna go into Uxi. Uh, draw turn. Psychic energy. Tax it to Uxi. Throw a mess spirit down. Uh could have uh nest ball, I guess, but Psychic Recharge, those two from Mess Spirit onto the new Mess Spirit. And we are going to Memory Skip and pick Photon Geyser. So we do 30 more damage. And uh, our opponent cannot use Photon Geyser this next turn. So it says choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon, attack that Pokemon. 
can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn. So Ultra Necrozma cannot use Photon Geyser this next turn. Draw for turn. It's another Psychic Energy, of course. I evolved the wrong Krogunk. That was smart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Malmar Psychic Recharge. Put it on Krogunk. Um, let's see. Although I could have put it on Furfrout and then drew until I had the cards. Um, that should be fine. So, like, here's the problem right now, is that, okay, so there is, that's where we're putting it on, 20, and then there's 2. I don't know why I did it that way. Um, so 140 damage on this thing already. Uh, Photon Geyser cannot be used, and uh, Sky Scorching Light GX, you can't use this, you can use this attack only if the total of both players' remaining prizes are 6 or less. Put 6 damage, oh, so I can, I can just do that, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, looks like we're going to win this with the GX attack. That is broken. That is broken. Well, attach the Psychic Energy to Alternate Krasma and so Sky Scorching Light GX. There are six or less uh, prizes. There are, you know, five left. And uh, put six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So that means a full die here. On you, on you, on you, on you. On you, on you, and on you. That is ridiculous, because it knocks out this Uxie. It knocks out this Uxie. Had this been an Inke, it would have knocked it out. Had this been an Inke, it would have knocked it out. That is craziness. And with that, Ultra Necrozma claims its last prize, which is a Lysander Labs. There's not much this deck could have did about it, I guess. Uh, psychic Energy, Psychic Energy, Psychic Energy. It's, it's all it was drawing was Psychic Energy. Inke, Obama Snow. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. So, I'll have to give it to Ultra Necrozma. And uh, how are, far are we into this video? And I think that is ample time. Ultra Necrozma is the winner, guys. Uh, what does it win? Bragging rights, mostly. Um, but we can go ahead and rematch these guys once we get better decks. Maybe we can actually... Actually, I don't think these guys are be a rematch. But we could always, you know... Look into Ultra Necrozma as a a base. That's all you guys saw on this though was an Ultra Necrozma sweep. So keep that in mind. I'll see you guys on the next time. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I'll hope to see you on another video. Have a good day now. Bye bye.